This is a quick movie just showing you how a quad view works inside uh, Image Pro Plus. At the moment we have a quad view on, um, operating with DAPI, FIDSI, Texas Red and a sci fi emission, um, operating with a, uh, a Rolera MGI um, EMC CD camera. Um, what we've actually got, and you can see here, is I've actually got the four emissions actually taking their place inside my one image. Um, what we're actually going to do when we do this is we're going to create one final image which is actually the same resolving power but one quarter of the field of view and the quarter of the field of view being used is actually the field of view in the center. So what I'm going to do first of all is I've aligned the dual view, uh, the quad view as easily as I can do by just simply moving uh, the alignment tools on the outside, just the little knobs and tweakers on the outside. Um, but I'm actually going to do a final really neatly to piss software um, alignment as well. So I'm just going to snap a picture of my grid and I'm just going to map how my actual alignment was. To do that I'm just going to use a simple little macro which says is it a dual view or a quad view? And I just say quad view. And instantly it comes up and it tells me that channel 2 is out by 5 pixels in X and it's got a 0.4 degree rotation error. Um, and so on. So it can actually tell me how I am. Um, and what is nice is it'll actually correct that. And it's actually corrected it here. So if I pick a couple of these images, I can take, say, these two images here and I say I'll make you the red channel and you the green channel. What I can actually show you by creating the composite, if I just zoom in on here, is how I've managed to get them overlined perfectly now. That's pretty essential uh, because any form of co localization study or anything else like that is really, really required. Um, for making sure that I've got my, my proteins, my fluorophores, whatever, directly on top of each other. So the idea being now, I've now I've done this alignment on a grid, I can just go off and I can just do some regular imaging. So um, what I'm going to do is just put a slide on and I'm going to take a picture of that. And we can then just use that alignment to make sure we've got the best picture after all. So first of all, we're going to just monitor those cells, which is ace. I've just got my image straight up. Um, and we can just go around and we can make sure that that's all nicely in there in all of my channels. Okay, so you can see I don't have anything in my in my sci-fi channel, but that's a nice sample actually, nothing else. But I've got my, my DAPI, my FITSI and my Texas Red. So I can monitor this live or I might just take a single snap. Okay, and now instead of actually doing an alignment on it like I do do my grid, I just apply that alignment. And I do that by pressing button two and just saying OK and OK. And I'll end up with my my four images, which now lead in aligning. So I know that this one is blue, this one is green, and this last one is red. And I get my little overlapped image like that. Now it's probably not the best bit of the sample. I'll tell you what, let's, let's boost up my blue a little bit so I can just see that a bit more. And maybe make my red a little brighter too. So, you know, you can use all your tweaks that you want to for this. Entirely down to you. But that's what you're actually getting. So you can monitor the four channels simultaneously. And also when you snap, you can recombine and put them into one image. Okay. The, the dual view operates with pretty much any camera you have in the market. Um, and can easily be used in any combination of filter sets. Uh, please contact tech support or your local sales office for help. Okay, thanks.